All right, all right, family. Black power, black power is the true power with General Sarasun said he kicked back, get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. It's going down tomorrow, family, Sunday, March 24th, 24th, 2024. We talking about Luciferian rituals of the black Illuminati, black Hollywood, and hip hop exposed. I want you in the house, front row and center. Click that link right down in the video description in the chat and don't hesitate to elevate family i'm so excited to be accepting members to the sarah soon said a youtube page a dynamic page we ain't got to say no more you already know what it is all the family out there you know interested in becoming a member link right down in the video description is in the chat click it you get a video introduction rundown on the memberships what they entail you see one you like you should most definitely join even if you don't I appreciate your presence here at the Sarah Soon said a YouTube page. Continue to engage, continue to advance. That's right, family. Bring me along. KingSeti.com online marketplace. Official General Sarah Soon said he DVD lectures, t shirts, tank tops, hoodies, African and comedic jewelry, holistic tonics and remedies, home decor accessories for every room in the house. I got some for your family. I know you're going to like it, I know you're going to love it. You need to get over there, check out the catalog, get a discount, shop and save, save and shop. Pull the fire along, generalseti.com, SETI University, over 1,500 videos, over 40 different subjects, you know, all from the general, too raw for YouTube, making it a white man series, debates, uh, Christianity, Islam, Judaism exposed, the black woman is God ancient Egypt, Ethiopia, India, black power, politics, and economics, that gas. We got it all over there for your family. Become a member today. And also, we got the Grand Master Teachers uh, instrumental, supplemental, and monumental research material, hand-picked documentaries and lectures. There's not another website on the planet that can compare family. And everybody knows SETI popping on Patreon, BPC making noise. We never come, just drop two, five presentations. The visuals is off the chain. You do not want to miss it. Get over there. You get a chance to see the general live, all the live streams. You see, you got the possibility of seeing the general live, and that's what you want. The visuals is extraordinary off the chain. Become a patron today. All the family that donate to the general, I thank you. I appreciate the fact you appreciate me. Any of the family out there, would like to donate to the general link in the video description in the, in the chat. Click it, donate. I thank you ahead of time. Make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels. King Seti, General Seti, Sarasun Seti. Rock that notification bell. Get a video, a thumbs up. Like it because you love it. Share it with your family and friends and comment, comment, comment. Just don't say nothing stupid because I will ban your ass. Now, we talking about because I know you niggas go out there. The Easter Bunny, you know, is hopping around, laying eggs in your front yard, and you niggas, y'all ready, you know, do your Easter thing and shit, and yeah, ready to do your Passover, and and, and that's all they do is pass you niggas over. Guess all God do is pass you over, and you out there doing all these rituals and shit to uh, you know, for God, and God don't do none for you. So we gonna expose you niggas today. That's right. That's right. It is Passover. God keep passing your black ass over. <laughs> oh, shit. That's all they going to do is lay an egg in your front yard, nigga. As soon as you go, motherfucker going to run up and, and, th and throw that motherfucker and bust it on your motherfucking head, nigga. Yeah. As soon as you go out there to get the egg, they're going to run up and right there and, and, and throw that motherfucker and bust it on your head, nigga. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter, nigga. Rotten eggs. Yeah, y'all out there, you get the rotten eggs, nigga. That's right. The Bible documents uh, that ancient Egypt was a nation of black people. See, this is, see, we have to understand when the general used the Bible. See, I'm a, I'm a academic, uh, 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 you know, I'm an academic warrior. You see, anything that I use, I use it as an instrument of warfare. You see, I use it as an instrument of warfare. 
That's what you niggas can't understand. It's not, it, it ain't got nothing to do with it holy. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with God is, you know, it, the author. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with that. You see, there is some racial classifications based on geographical location. You see, you know, that I want to expose to the world that we got you lying. You lying ass cro magnum Neanderthals. You lying ass uh, uh, lamb eating ass Arabs and shit. I, we got you. You see, it, we got you. And so this is what we use it for. So a lot of people would be ready to throw it ain't you accept you don't never accept it in whole. You never accept it in whole. You you accept it for the truth. And wherever you see the truth, you got to identify that. You see? And so this is one thing where they slipped up. This is where they slipped up. And they identify Egypt as a black as as, as a as a nation of black people. You see, because some of you niggas out there getting caught up on Kimmy, whether it was the nation name of the nation or the land. OK, and no, nobody just named their nation after no damn land. They name it after the people, you see. And so, you know, you know, you, we have to understand that. OK, now. Let's 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 dig into this, this research. Seti, how did you come in? I know we got a lot of good. You know, we got a lot of good Christian niggas out there. Yeah, Jude, Judaic niggas out there. Come on in. Come on in. We're going we gonna to work out today. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all still got the white Jesus up on your wall. Yeah. You, you, you got that picture up there with uh, a JFK, Jesus, and Martin Luther King. Yeah, I know you what you got up there, nigga. You still get, and you, you got one of them old school ones, the ones that you can plug in, that motherfucker light up. Yeah, you got one of them old school, one of them vintage ones and shit. Yeah, motherfucker, you light it up at night and you, yeah, nigga, and you put on your little, yeah, you put on your little, your little, your little songs, nigga, of joy and shit. And yeah, nigga, and get down there and pray to the Lord. Yeah, nigga, we gonna, yeah, come on in. We got something for you niggas today. You see, we got something for you today. Nah. And all you naysayers, all you Cro Magnum Neanderthals that say, that Egypt was it was a white man's land. You see, I don't know what y'all claim it is, but I know good and goddamn well y'all ain't over there without no goddamn at least uh two hundred dollars worth of sunblock in your goddamn in, in in your traveling bag. You know that. You know we know you got it. We know you got it. We know y'all and y'all before y'all come outside, motherfuckers had to you know spend at least. Yeah, 30 minutes to 45 minutes spray, you know, spraying that, 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 that motherfucking guard, that damn skin block on your ass, you know? And, but you want me to believe that, I mean, and a lot of people just can't see past that. You see, they can't see past that, but we, we gonna, we gonna do that today. We're going to do that today so we can get to the truth. Let's get this documentation up there. We let's get this done. We know you like y'all niggas like to watch, uh, the Cecil B. DeMille's Ten Commandments. Y'all love that shit. Y'all love it. Y'all love that shit. Motherfucker watch it, you know, even watch the credits and shit. Where they, they be in there, you know what I'm saying? They be in there just playing music. You know what I'm saying? They got a, a way, you know, they, you know, if you go into the Cecil B. DeMille Ten Commandments, you know, they got that shit like as if it was at a movie. And so in the middle, it'll stop, you know what I'm saying? And it say, uh, what it say? Intermission and shit. <laughs> it, it, it just is music that play for about 15, 20 minutes. So you can run up there and get your popcorn and your hot dogs and shit, nigga. Yeah, nigga. They even had an intermission. And so, yeah, y'all niggas like y'all play the whole goddamn DVD. Yeah, you know, and when y'all and when the intermission, y'all run up there, get your cush. Yeah, get your hand and see. <laughs> Ah, shit. And then you come back, nigga, and, and watch how Moses freed the Israelites from Egypt. Yeah, nigga, I know you. I know you. I got y'all niggas down to a T. Yeah, let's get this. Let me get this in here. <laughs> I 
I got y'all niggas down to such a T. Niggas swear to God, I got cameras up. They said that nigga said he must got cameras up in this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, family, let's deal with this. We talking about how, let's prove this now. I want to prove this. And see, this is very damaging. See, this Bible, you see this holy book, it's an instrument of warfare. You see, well, academic warfare. You see what I'm saying? And so, yeah, you got the truth terrorists in here tonight. The truth terrorists. You see what I'm saying? And so, uh, we talking about harm. See, we got to talk about this. See, now for peoples out there that get caught up into, uh, is Kemet the the name of the land, or is it, or is it the name of the people? It's both. See. Is both, and we'll run that down on why it's both. You know, the fact is, yes, Kemet is the area of the Nile where the silk from Ethiopia would, you know, during the time of, of, of the flood, you know, a lot of the silk would come down and it piles up in the Delta region. And this is the rich fertilizer that the uh the egyptians would use the you know spread out over the land and plant their crops and i mean it would be so fertile i mean until it was time you know the harvest was over they would be picking food from the time they plant they can plant it and, and god damn it it'll be up damn there in two weeks uh it, it already be on the goddamn stock you see what i'm saying so this is what you know but that same silk that fertilizer that mud is the same mud that Kanum used to mold African man and woman on the potter's wheel. See, you got to understand that. And so, yes, it's it's the land of uh, it's the land of Kemet being, you know, the rich fertilizer and soil. But it is also the name of the people because a nation is always you're going to be named after its people. What nation you don't know, you know. So you go in any nation in, in today and you and you say whatever that nation is, the people is named after the nation. So what, what is, I don't understand what peoples is talking about. You see that the people don't identify identify with the national uh, 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 name of, 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 of the nation. What kind of shit is that? That don't make sense. So it wasn't just named after the land. It was named after the land and the people. OK, let's let's make that clear. Now, when you deal with the term harm, you see, which is the same as calm, it's the same as Kim. You see, you, knowing that the vowels are interchangeable in, in, in what they call, what they, they say in Medunetta, you see, you know, and a lot of you niggas, y'all know that. But because you're and you know, y'all go outside of, you know, the rules of the so-called Egyptian hieroglyphic where there's no vowels in it. So when you see it spelled, if you saw a H A M, it would it would just be H M. You see, you wouldn't you wouldn't see no H. You wouldn't see no A. It just be H M. You see, and so there's no vowels in Hebrew. You see, there's no vowels in 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 Arabic. You see, so if you see uh just like if you go into Arabic, let me show you. See, now you got Abraham. You see in the middle, you got Abraham. But Abraham can also be spelled Ibrahim, you know, as you see at the top, you see Ibrahim. And so you can spell it I-B-R-A-H-I-M. You see the I, the A and the I are interchangeable. You see, you see down here, some people spell Ibrahim with an E, E-B-R-A-H-I-M. You see, so understanding that the A, the, all the vowels, could be interchangeable because technically you don't have no goddamn vowels. You don't have no goddamn vowels. So you add the vowels to your discretion. You add the, the vowels to your discretion. So, you know, Ham is uh, one of the sons of Noah who symbolically represents the patriarch of the African nations. Now, we understand that this is all esoterical knowledge, that this is not meant to be literal, okay? And anybody that believe 
is is meant to be literal and you in the chat saying i don't believe i nigga please exit to the left okay because we don't got time for this we in here trying to get the juice out of this and we'll leave the pill when we done okay so we don't we're not asking people to accept but a lot of the racial classifications based on geographical locations is right and exact is right and exact it's in accordance with academic research it's in accordance with academic research and this is why we bring this information to the people as documentation okay and so harm is again calm k-a-m it is also spelled K-H-A-M. Do y'all know that Ham is also Amam? Did y'all know that? That's right. That's why in certain uh when they when they talk about the deity Baal Haman, you see Baal Haman. I got him in there. You see, so they put the H in front of Amon. That's Am. A, you spell Amon, A-M-M-O-N. You just put the H. And so Ham is and you see one of the uh the re one of the uh manifestations of amen is men m-i-n which you see which is the god of fertility and him and amen are pitch black you see pitch black well amen sometimes is blue but men is black you see men is black okay and so let's let, let's deal with something now another thing when you talk about adam See, in, in Arabic, it's Adham. Look it up. Look it up. I don't want you to be confused today. Adham. You see, not Adam, Adham. You see, signifying that the first man and woman were black. Okay? Don't, we, we, we can't let you get away with this. You know, we got to bring this, these, these, these facts right and exact. You see, we got to bring these facts right and exact. And so let's deal with this where it says that uh egypt see where is that at where is that at here it is here we go right here this is one i want the one with all of them on it. i want the one with all of them on it i want the one with all of them on it i don't see i want the one with all of them on it I think this is it. No, that's not it. Well, I swear to God, I'll be here. Go right here. This is one of them. This is one of them. This is two of them right here. Let me see. Where's the other one there? Okay. 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 Bingo. All right. Okay, we'll deal with this one right here. I thought I had lined it up. Psalm 78, 51. Now, we have to understand, number one, that Eham, which is black. We, we, didn't, we, we, didn't, we bring documentation every time to, 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 to black that up. That Ham, based on the comments, and we got, a, we got another uh, biblical doc dictionary that we just added in here, that Calmus uh, 1832 Dictionary of the, of the Holy Bible states that harm or charm, as you see right there, and that also include chomper, like you say, nog chomper, which I say, naga chomper. You see, to understand that the mon Kamirs of Angkor Wat or Ain't Angkor Wat, you see, was of the Nile Valley, you understand, civilization and extension. You see, so when we say cham or harm, it means burnt swarthy black just like kim or calm in the so-called medunetta and it says down here it, it is believed that he had africa for his inheritance and that he peopled it but he dwelt in egypt he dwelt in egypt and so egypt is referred to as the land of harm so that right there is documentation that in the Bible that they looked at Egypt as being a black land of black people. See, now when they say is is 
Kemet means the land. Here you see it, signif it signifies a genealogy, a bloodline, not no damn land. It was the land and the people. Yes, Egypt was referred to as the land of Ham, which means burnt, swarthy, and black. Okay? And that's very significant because Moses is supposedly raised in Egypt. It ain't no goddamn way he going to be raised in Egypt if he don't look burnt, swarthy, or black. How in the hell is he going to be raised as one of the Pharaoh's grandsons if he don't look like the goddamn Pharaoh? You see, because can't nobody tell your damn religion. So if he, you know, if you, you know, and you ain't born with no goddamn religion, and since you can't identify, you know, a, 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 a man's religion at birth, they saw him as what he was as an African in the house of Pharaoh. Now we know that's esoterical, but we need to shut motherfuckers down with that. Jesus ran in and God told Joseph, get your ass up and take that, that woman and that child and flee into Egypt because Herod is seeking the life of, the life of Jesus. And so they took Jesus to hide him in the land of burnt, swarthy, and black. It ain't no goddamn way you gonna hide in no land or, or, or burnt, swarthy, and black if you ain't burnt, swarthy, and black. You see what I'm saying? Because if he was white, he would have uh, uh, he would have stuck out like a so goddamn thumb. You see what I'm saying? So we had to document this. Now we let's keep it moving now because I got these two, these other ones. Wait a minute, is they in here? I got these other uh. Bible or dictionaries. Matter of fact, there it is right there. There it is right there. The Hayden series, a Bible dictionary. Now, look at this right here. Let's go down here so we can look at it. I'll go straight to it. They, they say it's, these Afrocentric niggas is making this shit up. And we go straight to their grandpappy and get his, his dictionary with his name on it. And uh, then they got a problem with it. Let me blow this up. Let me blow this up. Let me blow this up. Let me blow this. Up. Okay, here we go. Now, maybe matter of fact, is this? Is it this one right here? Look at this. Look at this. this now, this got Kush in here. It says Kush, a word often translated as Ethiopia. Uh, first, whatever his name, F U R I S, first understands it to signify black. Hear me out. The same as Ham, of whom Cush was the eldest son. So you see that right there. We didn't say that. See, we didn't say that. This right here, Reverend, whatever is Charles Botel in a uh, uh, master degree. Yeah, yeah, all this. Yeah, the Hayden series by Bi uh, a Bible dic dictionary for the use of all readers and students of the Holy Scriptures and of the old and New Testaments and of the books of the Apocrypha. This was uh, published in 1871. Yeah, and so when it says Kush, a word often translated Ethiopia, Fuss understands it to signify black, the same as Ham of whom Kush was the eldest son. So we, we, we understand. So Egypt was referred to as the land of Ham, which means black. OK, that's very that's very powerful. See, we, we talk about the Bible and the shit that's wrong and we should specify all the shit that's wrong. But we need to talk about what they say that's right, because that's what's going to collapse that motherfucker. You see, that's going to collapse it on in. You see, yes, there's a whole lot of shit wrong. And we we identify, but we should talk about we should not throw this away because there's not many books that document where it say that the Egyptians is black. You see what I'm saying? We need that on our side, especially when it's coming out of the mouth of the goddamn Cro-Magnum Neanderthal. You see what I'm saying? And they wrote this, and but at the time in which they wrote this, they didn't see Egypt as being a, a white land at all. They wouldn't have never wrote nothing like that. You understand what I'm saying? Nah, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's get back up in here. Now, it says right here. Now, so when we see, uh, we in, uh, 
Matter of fact, let me take that out of here so we can see all that. Wait a minute, I've seen somebody say something. Let me see what you say. Libya is from harm too. Libya is from harm too. That's right. Libya was considered to be a black land too. That's right. And they, in any time that e Egypt and Ethiopia went to war, Libya also went to war with Egypt and, and Ethiopia in the Bible. That's true. It always showed uh, uh, Libya in, in confederation with Egypt and Ethiopia. Yes, indeed. Okay, so Genesis of, no, we're we going, because that's dealing with, uh, that's dealing with Ishmael. Now, for those that know about Abraham and his son Ishmael, Ishmael, uh, you know, they, you know, the Arab always talking about that Abraham and Ishmael went down into Arabia and founded Mecca, and which is a goddamn lie because the Bible don't say nothing like that. It says that uh, Ishmael was uh, uh, was this uh, the son of a Hermetic woman, an Egyptian woman, which means she was black. You see, in that uh, not only was his mother a Hermetic woman, an Egyptian woman, a black woman, uh, his mother, Ishmael, took a wife from Egypt, which means that he's, his bloodline would have been almost 100% Egyptian because his mother was already Egyptian, and then he uh, married a wife who was Egyptian, so he was already 50%. So his children was damn near probably 75, 85% ain't ancient Egyptian. So they didn't, they weren't no Arabs. They was Egyptians. You see, they were Egyptians. So the Ishmaelites, according to the Bible, was Cushite Egyptians. And we can black that up too. You see, we can black that up. Oh, uh, let me get that out of there. So you see right there, Psalm 78, 51 says he struck down every firstborn in Egypt, the first fruits of their strength in the tents of harm, in the tents of blackness. You see, in the tents of blackness, that's very powerful that we know that. You see, it's very powerful that we know that because it, what is very clear, and we're going to talk about that family as we move through the day. That, uh, you know, in the Bible, see, this is something else that they trying to run on us today. If you go into white academia, they tend to show Egypt and Nubia as two different races. That's what they try to do. I see these niggas up there arguing every day. Now they don't want to be where the Bible ain't true. Well, a whole lot of shit ain't true. But right here, it's right and exact because you keep saying that black people is making this up, that we trying to make Egypt black. Now, but for over however long this book been in existence, now it's up to up for debate. You understand how long it been in existence, but they say we'll take the long number since they want to play games. Let's play games. Okay, so this is the, this uh, 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 translation is right and exact. It's been in existence, y'all say, since goddamn 300 AD, or even before that, some of the books supposedly existed even before 300 AD. But at the time of the Council of Nicaea, they supposedly uh, where they put the you know put the, the uh, you know they brought it together under one book. You see what I'm saying? And discarded the ones that they felt were not you know of you know inspiration of God. They got rid of them. And so here, they, and so at 300 AD, they supposedly, you know, put it under one book. But so for the last 1500 years, they've been teaching that harm. It, the definition is black. You cannot get around that. I didn't seen it in the Tao move. You see, I didn't seen it in the Tao move where they say that the Canaanites was niggers and Negroes and and that's very significant because that include Melchizedek. That include Jerusalem, where they from Jebus, who was a Canaanite, who was the son uh, uh, of Canaan, who Jerusalem was named after. So they didn't even change the name of the goddamn city. They accepted it as it was Jebus, that which is Jerusalem. And so in the Talmud, they say that the Canaanites was niggers. That included 
Jebus, he who is Jerusalem, that included Melchizedek, that include uh, Sidon, which the Phoenicians came out of, you know, uh, 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 Sidon and, 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 and sailed off into what they call Libya. That brother just brought up Libya. And that's very significant because Carthage included uh, parts of uh, Tunisia, at parts of Libya, you see, Algeria, all through that area, part, you know, was part Carthage, the empire of Carthage. And so the Carthaginians came from Canaan. They sailed from Canaan. They are children of Canaan. That's why when you talk about Hannibal's father, his father's name is Hamil Car. You see what I'm saying? Showing root that they was hermetic, showing root that they was black. See, we got their ass today. Ain't nobody putting, I put hands on their ass. I put nothing but hands on these motherfuckers. Ain't nobody out here doing this kind of shit. You understand what I'm saying? And then when I need to jump in another lane and go to work, I can jump, jump in another lane and go to work. How many ways do you want me to beat you? You see what I, but I can, you know, I can use the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? And make them discard it. They're going to discard it or discard it, motherfucker. We're going to keep this part. You can have the rest of that shit, all that Moses and all that, all them rituals and shit and all that garbage. Y'all can have that. We want this racial classification and based on geographical location. We want that. We want that aspect. You understand what I'm saying? Because I can show you all the nations in the book that they identify as nations of black people. And we need to acknowledge that. We don't need to throw that part of it away because it is synchronized with academic research that say the same goddamn thing. It's not like it's saying nothing different. It's in accordance with academic research. Okay, so let's stay in, let's stay in on, on you know, in, 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 in one accord on that. You feel what I'm saying? And so when we go down to, uh psalms uh 106 22 it says wondrous works in the land of ham and awesome deeds by the red sea psalms 105 27 say they perform his signs among them and miracles in the land of harm which is the land of black people black they use the term black that does not mean a caucasoid with a suntan they never use that term in, in, in the reality, wait a minute, before we, and it says that it's the same blackness as in Ethiopia. So we know that they knew exactly what the Ethiopian was. So the blackness of Ham, the blackness of Egypt was the same blackness of the Ethiopians. And when we talk about Ethiopian, we talking about Sudan. We talking about the Sudanese. E Ethiopia in the Bible, Ethiopia, uh, uh, the Greeks is the Sudan. So when they talk, of, they're talking about Nubia. That's why they mentioned Taaka, you know, Shabaka in the Bible. So that's Nubia. So we talking about pitch black. So we don't want to be confused. We don't want to be confused about that term blackness because they'll make you say, oh, well, they, that's a Caucasian with a, with a, uh, a suntan. No, you ain't going to get black. No, sir. You're not going to get black. You're going to get red and you're going to get dead, but you're not going to get black. So I don't want nobody to be confused about, you know, sometimes, you know, we use, you know, terminologies and shit to, you know, to mean something. No, 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 no. You're not going to get black. No, sir. If you black, your ass in a casket. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you get black, you be in a casket, but you're not going to get black and live on this planet Earth. No, sir, you don't have that. You don't have that capability. So family, we still in the house. Don't you go nowhere. We still own, we, don't you go nowhere. We coming right black. I want y'all to hit up some of them links. I want you to support the general hard work we doing over here, showing our people when nobody else has got them. They arguing, we not arguing. We, nigga, we slamming down the hammer, nigga. Guilty, nigga. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Case closed, case closed. We got your ass. All right, family. Arm yourself with knowledge, bang on that wicked ass beast daily liberation through African education, education and confrontation. Black pop.